guys, I'm Ishad and you're watching me on Android Host and today I'm gonna talk about a ROM which is according to me is the most stable ROM for Leaf 1S and today I'll tell you how to flash this ROM and from where you can download this ROM so without wasting any time let's start our video so guys first of all you need to download all the files links will be given in the description so without a further ado let's boot into recovery to flash our custom ROM to have in recovery mode so let's wipe our data and go to advanced wipe and wipe all your data except the internal storage and there you go and it's done so let's head back to internal storage install and there you can see the dot os and add more zips let's find our g apps that we need to install or flash with our custom rom there is a g apps and reboot after installation and it's done so as you can see the rom is in flashing so if you install the rom you may know that it, it may took some time so let it be a like, uh, i'll fast forward the video so guys as you can see we installed the custom rom as well as the g apps and after that step it will ask you to install the twrp as a system app and you have to disagree with that and click the do not install button here and after that it will install it will boot up into your custom rom and there you go and as you all know it will take a lot of time near about 10 to 15 minutes so i'll speed up the process for you and this is the booting screen for the dot os I've used this ROM for only about 2 to 3 weeks and this is according to me the most stable ROM ever made for Leave and S. And as this ROM has pretty much no bugs, the camera is fine, the SDI is working fine, the flashlight is fine, the fingerprint is fine, everything is working perfectly as you may accept from a ROM like this. And uh, do note that you have to restart your device once as it will switch off while we booting first time so I'm pressing the power button once and pressing and holding it for 10 to 15 seconds and there you go this is rebooting once again into my ROM so let's wait and that's all we can do So guys after 15 minutes we are booted in our ROM and this is our first look we have to set up this ROM so let's go let's set up our ROM mm, there you go set up as a new device and we'll skip that we will not continue with Wi-Fi networks mm, click next let's check out the fingerprint scanner set a pattern done confirm let's check out the fingerprint scanner okay well that we'll do that after we start the device let's agree and there you go this is the first look of the custom ROM after you boot up and there you go let's check out the camera let's give the permission and it's footage camera which is pre-built in the ROM and it works pretty well I guess so I've used this ROM for pretty much two weeks as I told you before this ROM is smooth as hell and it's based on Android 7.1.2 which is no good they can go this is the Easter egg for dot OS and yeah that's it and let's check out the fingerprint scanner for your kind information as uh, some of you may have doubt that it will work or not so let's go to security the pattern lock is set and let's set the fingerprint scanner mm, let's search it here fingerprint no not smart lock 
next there we go as you can see it's working perfectly fine I'm adding my left hand fingerprint so I'm pretty uncomfortable with that so let's check it's working or not actually my hand is pretty wet now as you can see let's wipe it a bit and give it a shot so guys now I added my right hand fingerprint so as you can see it was wet and now I cleaned it so let's check now our fingerprint is working or not as you can see it unlocked placed and unlocked I'm not cheating and there you can see the password and the phone unlocked so as you saw the fingerprint works perfectly well the camera is working the hotspot is working let me show you the hotspot the location is working as you can see here let's check out the hotspot there we go it's close the hotspot is working as you can see so i guess now you don't have any doubt about this rom this rom is bugless and yes it doesn't have volte which is the problem with any rom you install on any media device so that's not a bug that's an issue we can say we can't install volte on any mediatek devices after we install the custom rom so i guess that's it for today's video i hope you like the video and do like and share this video subscribe our channel for more such videos and if you have any query please let me know it down in the comment section i'll try to make such videos and will try to help you all